Hi, I'm Chase Raz, and this is the Zillica Observer. Partial consideration for this video was provided by Zillica directly, and we're here today to talk about the Zillica Ethereum Bridge, or the ETH Bridge as we've been calling it. Look, we've known for quite some time that this bridge was coming. This uh, particular screenshot here was from early March when some of the test network was initially being conducted. Um, we, we got some information about what was coming, but recently, and I mean very recently on April 12th, we got a retweet from Amrit directly talking about some, some GitHub merge activity going on. So what does this mean? This means that the Zill ETH bridge is coming soon, really soon, as in this quarter, quarter two, 2021, soon. So the bridge is powered by Poly Network. And we'll look into Poly Network in just a moment, but it's important to point out that we're not just going to be bridging with Ethereum. Poly Network will also enable us to bridge with Hiko, which is the Huobi Eco Chain, with Binance Smart Chain, with Ontology, with NEO, with Bitcoin, with Elrond, and Cosmos. And because there are so many chains that are represented here, you can see that there are quite a few DEXs and DeFi products that are all going to be interoperable within the Zillica ecosystem now. And of course, us with them, but you know, I do see one right about, so just directly up from there, that tends to be our favorite, Zillswap and Switchio. Of course, you know, we're on the Zillica blockchain, so we may be a little bit biased, but those two are, are of particular interest to us. So the ecosystem is pretty large, and again, we're going to come back to that in just a moment, but I want to point out that if we were to go to Poly Network site, poly.network, what we would see is really three application scenarios that Poly Network presents that they put front and center, and these are DEX, credit, and stablecoin. For DEXs, the key benefit is being able to facilitate transactions of non-native tokens. So yeah, ZillSwap will be able to trade between Zill and ETH or Zill and Bitcoin, and even let you LP for those pairs. That's pretty exciting. But this is also where lending comes in, and Poly Network talks about how multi-chain borrowing and lending helps scale the business volume for DeFi credit services. If you've been ready to collateralize and borrow Zills or ETH or any other token, or you've been wanting to lend to earn interest, Poly Network's multi-chain approach will help bring those services that already exist elsewhere within our reach. And third, stablecoins. Stablecoins are already created on various chains, so why should everyone have to reinvent the wheel, so to speak? Stablecoins on Binance Smart Chain, Ethereum, and the other connected blockchains are about to be able to be used on the Zillica blockchain. Of course, Ethereum is the focus of this particular video because that's one of the key bridge points that we're most excited about. Not the only, but still, it's, it's a big one. In fact, back in the day, Zillica used to be an ERC-20 token before Mainnet, before Zillica launched its own blockchain. And so those particular tokens that are still floating around on Ethereum will be able to be brought over to Zillica. That's right. Even if you missed the initial opportunity window to bring those tokens over to Zillica, now they're going to be able to be brought over finally through the bridge. And of course, Zills will be able to go back and forth on this bridge. But it's not only about Ethereum, right? BEP20 Zill can already be yielded on PancakeSwap over on the Binance Smart Chain. And what all of this information does, what all of these points do, is they give our Zills the ability to operate across different blockchains. But of course, it gives us the ability to bring the native tokens of other blockchains onto our Zillica blockchain as well. And this is where Zillswap really comes into play. In fact, Zillswap is really central to a lot of this operation, and that's for two reasons. One, the, f the first, rather, is that bringing these tokens from other networks to Zillica is good for their circulation. And the reason for that is because we generally have lower gas prices than other networks like Ethereum and Bitcoin. I mean, significantly lower gas prices. So those particular tokens are going to be able to be exchanged and move around the Zillica network much easier and less expensive than they would be able to on their own native blockchains. But it's, you know, it's not just good for them. It's also good for us, Zillicans. It's good for us because bringing those tokens and letting them be exchangeable on our DEX and on our blockchain further enables trade, further enables and drives marketplace effects. Think of it this way. If you were going shopping, 
Would you rather go to a thriving, beautiful metropolitan shopping center that had everything you could imagine looking for? In the crypto world, this could be Zill, Bitcoin, Ether. Would you rather do that or would you rather have to run around to multiple sort of rundown, maybe even a little bit sketchy and half empty shopping malls to get the same things, driving all around town back and forth? Of course, we know the answer. You'd rather go to that shining metropolitan shopping center. That's that's what you would do. That's what I do as well. And with having these other chains native tokens on Zillica, it enables us to do that very thing right here. On Zillswap. And so let's take a bit of a deeper look at Poly Network. According to their own white paper, Poly Network says they're an interoperability protocol for heterogeneous blockchains. And basically, look, what that means is that each blockchain that's connected through this protocol can do their own thing, can still be their own blockchain, but but each chain will be able to work with the tokens of other chains as if they were native. You've got a brace for that. Ether is about to be floating around the Zillica blockchain. Prepare yourself. Bitcoin is about to be floating around the Zillica blockchain. I, I know we've thought about these things, but really let them sink in. Really think about how this changes or advances your investing strategy, how this changes or advances your participation within crypto and blockchain. Now, Poly Network is relatively well known in Asia but they're not really known outside of there. So what we would describe as our quote unquote Western countries, we don't see a lot of press or get a lot of indication of what Poly Network is up to, but they are significantly better known in Asia. And look, I mean, we can see that to um, to quite a large degree. If I bring the infographic back up, we can see the Binance smart chain is connected. Of course, Binance has Chinese roots, despite being currently located in Malta. Huobi and Neo are both out of China as well. Ontology is out of Singapore, just like Zilliqa is. And Bitcoin, you know, of course, Bitcoin has its APAC roots coming out of the Asia Pacific area. And so while we're here, let me stay off screen for a moment and also talk about this. There are, at the, at the time of recording, over three and a half billion dollars of total cross-chain value swaps have been facilitated as of the end of last month, as of the end of March 2021. Three and a half billion dollars of total cross-chain swaps. So this isn't, you know, a fly-by-night brand new operation. Poly Network knows what they're doing. In terms of that volume, also crossing the 60,000 cross-chain transactions level, that's quite impressive. Think about that, over 60,000 cross-chain transactions. And something you don't see on this infographic is that the TVL, or total value locked, across all of these bridged chains is over $200 million. That's quite impressive. So let's come back to home base here for a moment and recap what the importance of this ETH bridge is, or really the larger bridge of Poly Network to multiple blockchains. And so first, a key benefit is that we will have access to multiple leading blockchains. And this enables trades in a way that, uh, just like we talked about before, because the, the cost of transactions is low, because it provides ease of access to other tokens that are native to different blockchains, um, that alone lets us help avoid having to rely on centralized exchanges and other such, you know, more monolithic structures. So uh, the enabling of trade is massive when it comes to understanding the perceived benefit and, and the real benefit of this poly network bridge. But also hitting a little bit closer to home, one of the main, main benefits for us here in the Zillica ecosystem is how poly network will drive liquidity to ZillSwap because the liquidity pools will be required to facilitate these exchanges. The ETH Zill pair, the Bitcoin Zill pair, liquidity is required in those pools to make those exchanges happen. And the more that gets locked, we know that has an effect on things like slippage and other factors we can look at in other videos. But for now, I hope this gets you excited and, and really, I mean, I'm I'm super excited. I'm ready to see it. The ETH bridge, as we're you know colloquially calling it, but of course it's really Poly Network. The Poly Network bridge is coming here within this quarter, quarter two of 2021. Get excited, everybody, and get ready. Start figuring out your strategies. On behalf of the Zillica Observer, I'm Chase Raz. Take care, everybody.